everyone, holy crap, it's so hot in here. I am finally doing one of my most requested, like, first impression videos I think I've ever had. The Huda Beauty, what is this called? Faux Filter Foundation. So I have not been ignoring you guys. You guys have been asking for this, I feel like, for months. The reason I haven't done it sooner is because I could not get a hold of it. It is on Sephora New Zealand's website. Every time I went on there, like, every single shade was sold out. And I went on the other day just to, like, look. I've got myself signed up for, like, the notifications and stuff but I had a look and the one shade I needed was like the only one in stock so I got it so if you guys haven't tried this yet and you're wanting to buy it like I apologize if it's impossible to get it seems to be like all the rage at the moment I've heard plenty of good things about it but I actually have also heard some not so good things about it so I'm excited to see what my own opinion is on it, this product so it is once again the Huda Beauty faux filter high coverage cream foundation you get 35 mil which is a little bit more than average and I got the shade cashew 140 G so the packaging is like this ombre black like glass looking thing but I think it's just plastic I thought it was glass looking at it but um, it's quite lightweight the packaging itself is kind of big it's similar to the YSL foundation but even bigger if I compare it to my Wet n Wild foundation I've been talking a lot about like it is you know quite a bit bigger so not ideal when it comes to traveling and stuff like that I do prefer something that's a little bit smaller just because I do travel all the time I like the fact that it's lightweight it's just the space you know it takes up so much space in your makeup bag and in case you care here's what the box looks like so yeah I'm going to do the normal thing I'm going to prime half of my face and we can see if there's any difference with the application longevity the look of it so I'm going to start by priming half of my face I'm going to use this primer because it's right here in front of me this is the J1 Jelly Pack Dramatic Firming Primer. <laughs> oh, I was almost about to do both sides. Which side shall I do? I'll do this side. This stuff is like super glue for your makeup to stick on top of. So we'll see, yeah, how it works. So on the um, Sephora website, oh my gosh, I've got like a fluff stuck in the primer. What's going on? On the Sephora website, the Huda Beauty Foundation goes for 40 US dollars. I paid more than that, obviously, in New Zealand. And it's rated like four stars out of five, which is pretty decent. And there is quite a good shade range as well. Here is a little diagram. So it looks like they've got a good spread from like really fair you know, slightly more medium and deeper skin tones. And it says it is a medium to full coverage and it's good for dry combination and normal skin oh, and oily skin. So all skin types. And the finish is, I don't get it. It literally says it's satin, matte and radiant. Like I don't get it. Um, there you go. I don't know how you can be radiant and matte and satin all at the same time, but that's fine. A full coverage cream foundation that visibly conceals blemishes and imperfections for a filter-like finish. Oh, here we go. It says it leaves your skin matte with a hint of sheen for a luminous appearance. Okay, so I am just going, it's got a pump. I'm just going to pump maybe like half a, I don't even know if that's half a pump, but I'm doing that much to start. By the way, don't mind this giant friggin' volcano that just popped up on my lip. It's so painful. It's literally like so swollen. This whole area is just like swollen now. It's so bad. I'm using a round face brush. I'm just gonna tap it and distribute it and blend. It smells really good. I don't even, ow, that's so sore. I don't even know what it smells like, but it smells good. That's actually gone quite a long way. Look at that. My biggest issues when it comes to foundation recently are definitely fading down here um, and kind of like not sitting nicely on my nose. Sometimes it like separates on my nose. So I'll keep an eye out for those issues and obviously any other issues as well. Oh, that color is like pretty much perfect. Stoked. Okay, yeah, that finish is so beautiful I can kind of see what they mean like it doesn't look like a luminous foundation it looks quite matte but then it does have that like shine when you kind of move your face so far really good to be honest okay let's do the other side I'm going to try and do the same amount let's see how it applies on top of a primer man it smells like perfume hopefully it doesn't break me out I have heard that it breaks some people out like really badly I don't know if it's because of the fragrance or one of the other ingredients who knows um but hopefully it doesn't happen to me if i end up liking this the smell of this is making me feel very nostalgic about something i'm trying to pick up it smells kind of like impulse or something <laughs> do you guys remember impulse in new zealand like the body spray it kind of smells like that so the foundation on both sides of my face looks very similar i zoomed you in and left the exposure quite low so you can really see 
how it looks. It's sitting it beautifully on my skin on both sides of my face. It hasn't emphasized any pores or anything like that. I definitely think I'm going to try build it up a little bit more because it is like a hint of pink you can still see and I feel like I need to like blend more like around this area because I've kind of like stopped. <laughs> so I'm just going to take another, oh that's probably like a third of a palm. It's covering up my freckles like okay. Nothing really covers them completely. But I mean, it's done a pretty good job. So that's really easily buildable. I really love the finish. I'm such a big fan of the finish. It's so stunning. I was kind of nervous to try this because a lot of the time with super hyped up products, I feel like I don't feel the same way. I don't know why. I think I get too excited about it and then it's just like, you know, it doesn't live up to the expectation. But so far, this is so flawless and beautiful. And this brush is working amazing with the foundation. So now my redness is well and truly gone. So that's how the foundation is looking. I'm going to quickly hop off the camera and finish my, you know, powder and concealer and everything. And I'll come back and show you how it's looking. It's 10 a.m. by the way. So obviously throughout the day, I'll check back in with you guys and show you how it's looking. Okay guys, so here is my makeup all done. It's now 25 past 10. So we are going to see how the makeup wears throughout the day. So far, I'm obsessed with how my base looks. I paired it up with my no -fill filter concealer, my Kat Von D under eye setting powder, and then my Laura Mercier face setting powder. And this is how it looks. It looks so beautiful. It's super full coverage. It does look a little tiny bit cakey. Not necessarily cakey, I guess. It's just like you can tell there's makeup on my face. So yeah, I will see you guys in a few hours. Hopefully this wears really well throughout the day because the color is so nice. Like I feel like it matches amazing. So I'll talk to you guys soon. So it is 2 p.m. The foundation has been on, what time did I start? Was it 10? I forget every single time I film one of these videos. I swear, four hours, right? I think, if it meant, I don't know. It's still looking amazing. Before I had one of those moments where I just full on started rubbing my eye because I forgot I was wearing makeup. I was like, ah! But um, it's okay. I got a little bit of um, mascara chunks down here, but it's kind of brushed off. It hasn't affected my foundation whatsoever. And the actual foundation is looking amazing. I don't think it has oxidized or gone dark or anything like that. It looks so smooth, full coverage. Actually, a little bit has it faded just here and just here, maybe from when I was eating. Um, so that's something to keep an eye on throughout the day. Around my nose, it's really good. It hasn't started creasing or you know, gone cake or anything like that yet. Hopefully it won't. So I will see you guys again in a few more hours. Hey everyone, I just got back from my endomology and thought I would update you. It is almost 4.30 p.m. I definitely feel like it is starting to deteriorate ever so slightly, but it still looks incredible from far away. Um, when I had my endomology, I was face down for a while and it still stayed put pretty well. Can you shush phone? I just feel like it is starting to crumble up a little bit just here. Is this the prime side? I can't remember which side I primed. This is the prime side, right? This side looks better for sure. I'll zoom in in a second, but yeah, it's starting to separate here. It's starting to wipe off around my nose a little bit, and there's a couple like little dots on my nose where it's wiped off a little bit from me being on my face, which probably isn't like a normal thing to do when I've got makeup on, but the rest of my skin, it looks so, like this is one thing I forgot to mention before. It looks so silky smooth. Like my skin, it looks like butter. It's so soft looking. Like it just looks incredible, so. I am pretty impressed with the foundation so far. It hasn't really sunk into any of my expression lines too badly. There's that one just there when I relax, you can't see it, but you know, it's looking pretty good. It's just those couple of areas where I've kind of obviously smushed it against the towel. And yeah, the time is currently 7.30. What's that, nine and a half hours? It's looking quite cakey down here still. Um, and again, it's kind of melted more hair. It's peeled off there but we already talked about that and I feel like it's gone a little bit oily just up here so definitely maybe not for oily skin um I'd say it's more for like normal skin because for me like I don't normally get oily and it's like kind of sticky but hey I could be wrong if you've got oily skin and use this foundation just comment down below and let me know what you think of it maybe if you used like setting spray and the correct primer and everything it's probably fine I mean on this side it's not very oily at all like compared to the non-prime side the prime side's definitely looking much better it's starting to melt now around my nose but this side's like way worse if that makes sense I'm sure you guys can see however it hasn't faded on either side the lasting power is so good um and I'm still loving the Way it looks like I said if I didn't have a massage like the entomology and stuff I don't think it would be messed up just here 
because that's probably just from where like I was resting my face. I think it looks really, really, really smooth still. Like my skin looks like butter. Hey guys, so it is 9.30 now. This is my last update. I'm going to sleep. I'm so tired. Sorry about the buzzing and humming. I've got my ring light on obviously because it's dark outside. So overall the prime side definitely did better and it basically didn't fade. I feel like it's starting to ever so slightly fade now but I have been lying in bed. So I am stoked. Like I am definitely going to continue using this. Hopefully it does not break me out. We will soon find out and I'll keep you guys updated within my videos. Didn't really sink into expression lines. I think the worst it did is it got a little bit oily and then just went really chunky on the unprimed side. I don't know why. And obviously wiped off, which once again, probably, probably would not normally happen. I just can't get over how even it looks and it looks so buttery smooth. I keep saying that, but it really does. Like it just looks so filtered. It really does. I'm excited to keep experimenting with it, especially with setting spray and stuff like that. I feel like it'll be even more incredible with setting spray, but we will see. If you have tried this foundation, write your review down below in the comments. I would love to hear what you think of it and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.